Well, a good mentor uh, would be some a leader, you know, somebody who's willing to spend the time to teach someone uh, their job duties, someone who cares about their job and teaching someone else about their perform their job that they're going to be doing. Just making sure that the hand is safe and the new guy is safe, and he knows exactly what's going on. You know. Uh, training that employee to be aware of his surroundings when we're working with tubulars. Uh, and then actually letting them do it and show them maybe ways that'll help them better. If you see them struggling, you know, show them different ways of doing things. My biggest thing is like hand placement and communication and always pay attention to where your hands are, whether it's a pinch point. Well, if it doesn't latch, it's very important to teach them that they've got the right to stop the job at any time if they don't see some, if they see something that might be wrong. So the way I get a new employee to to have the confidence in stopping his job is just, you know, re reiterating the fact that it's not a, it's not a bad thing to stop the job. If you don't, if you think something's wrong, then you know, speak up. It's not it's not going to hurt anything you know, you're going to hurt anybody's feelings you know and if something is wrong then hey you you, you caught something write an r and r on it you know and then uh if if something's not wrong so what we'll just go about our business you know um the biggest thing with tubular handling and the most important thing is as an SSE, you're always starting out on the floor. So you're always constantly handling tubulars on the rig floor itself. So, I mean, I preach it a lot as hand placement, hand placement, hand placement. I mean, that's what I live by. It's one of the biggest pet peeves I learned when I broke out and I took that experience that I had when I broke out and I went with it and I've preach it, I continue it, I mean, it's, hand placement is huge. Well, tubular handling is uh, one big priority for us because it's been uh, in our actively care goal since last year. You know, we're trying to prevent any or all uh, tubular handling uh, SIP potentials, you know. And uh. For me, it's the way I communicate with people. I try to have conversations and talk to them and, and talk to them as a person rather than just an employee because that's the most important thing, communication. If you don't have that, you don't got nothing, you know what I mean? So I really like to just try to get to know the person first, you know, warm up to them a little bit, but I also instill and am extremely, extremely firm when it comes to safety. Safety is my biggest thing. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. I don't want anybody to see me get hurt. And it, it's just one of those things where a safe act can go a long, long ways. And when you're safe, you're efficient. When you're efficient, we make everybody happy. You know, just doing the right thing helps. I mean, it's helps the rig and it's a team effort. You know, you're not doing the right thing. It takes that one time to for something to happen and that's I mean, that's what everyone remembers. It's not, you know, you can do, you do things right a hundred times, you do that one wrong thing and something happens and, you know, that's what, that's what everyone remembers, you know, it's not, and it's, at the end of the day, we all want to go home to our family. So it's, you know, a team effort of really helping everybody out here. It's not just yourself.